Welcome back, or welcome to Surrey Supernatural. My name is Graham. Today I will tell you about Spring Hill Jack. Comment below what you think about Spring Hill Jack, or maybe you have had an experience with him. Back in the Victorian era, an entity called Spring Hill Jack became part of English folklore. The first alleged sighting of Jack was back in 1837. Sightings were reported all over the United Kingdom but mainly, mainly in suburban London, the Midlands and Scotland. In late September in 1837, a businessman was returning to his home in London late one night. Suddenly, the man became terrified when a figure of a man jumped with ease over the huge railings of Barn Cemetery. The figure landed directly in front of the man, but luckily the man was not attacked. The man described the figure as a muscular man with devilish eyes, pointed ears and protruding growing eyes. Not long after this encounter, another incident occurred when a woman called Polly Adams was walking home with her two friends when they were attacked by a similar creature to the one that the businessman described. Polly became separated from her friends who had managed to run away. The man tore out the clothes and scratched the stomach with what she described as iron-clad fingers. In October 1837 in London, a servant called Mary Stevens was walking to Lavender Hill where she worked after she had been to see her parents in Battersea. As she walked across Clapham Common, a strange figure jumped out from a dark alleyway. The figure managed to grab her with his arms and as with Polly Adams to screech to scratch her with its claw-like hands. Mary screamed, terrified, which brought the rescuers running to her raid and the attacker ran off into the night. The attack did not go unnoticed by the press and the attacker was given the name of the park ghost and Spring Hill Jack. On the evening of the 29th of February in 1838, 18-year-old Jane also answered the front door to her father's house to a man claiming to be a London policeman. As she opened the door, he yelled to her, For God's sake, bring me a light to use. We have caught Spring Hill Jack in a lane. She ran back into the house and grabbed a candle. As she returned, she noticed the man was wearing a long, dark cloak. She handed him the candle and he began and he then dropped the long cloak off his shoulders and began to spit blue and white flames from his mouth. The man grabbed at the young girl and started to claw at her with his sharp fingers. Jane started to scream, which alerted her sister who became running out to rescue her and dragged her back inside. The strangest part of this story is that when the door was slammed shut, the man started knocking on the door to get a response, but when he didn't receive one, he disappeared into the night. Another attack happened eight days later on the 28th of February when 18-year-old Lucy Steele and her sister was walking home from Fidston and her brother at around 8.30pm. As Lucy and her sister passed somewhere called Green Dragon Alley, they noticed a man standing at the entrance. As the girls drew closer, they noticed the man was wearing a long dark cloak. Without warning, the man grabbed Lucy and vomited a quantity of blue flame into her face. This blinded her and frightened her so much that she had some kind of seizure-like fit. There are different theories to what Spring Hill Jack actually was. One rumour was it was a gentleman by the name of Henry de la Porte Beresford, the Marquis of Watford, who was an Irish nobleman. During the 1930s, Henry seemed to be often in the news for his behaviour from vandalism to drunken brawling, and it was not long before he became known as the Mad Marquis. Another rumour was that Jack was a deranged kangaroo who roamed around the country. There are also a few paranormal theories on what Jack was, ranging from a demon, alien, or even a manifestation to cause spiritual turmoil. The stories of Spring Hill Jack have continued throughout the decades, travelling throughout the UK up to modern day, where he has turned from an evil villain to a hero in pulp fiction publications. Sightings continued right up to the 1970s from the UK to the United States. Dates. 
Each time Jack's appearance and abilities have become stranger may be exaggerated. Thank you for listening. If you do like this, please check out the rest of our YouTube channel. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye for now and remember, stay spooky.